thought it'd be fun to come out on the driving range and pick up some balls. Yay. So I got Tom with me, and uh, Tom, introduce yourself. Everybody knows you. Yeah, hi, my, my name is Tom Walson. I'm the outside operations supervisor here at Kelly Greens. Been here happily for a little, almost a year now, and just enjoying the golf course, the people, and the whole atmosphere itself. So it's a beautiful place, and I love what I do. So I'm what happy the, to be here. What are the duties of the outdoor supervisor? Well, I do the scheduling uh, for the outside staff, which is oops, nine people. So I do the monthly scheduling and plan everything to better serve everybody here. Um, so that's kind of the main responsibility and make sure everything is functioning with the with the bags and just the overall customer service. So it's just part of the operations, the outside operation. Are you a golfer yourself? I am, I enjoy the game. I, I, I'm not quite as, uh, as where I need to be when I was younger, but it's okay, it's still fun. I enjoy the game, I love the golf course. So yeah, that's part of my passion. How so. long have you been working at a golf course? Well, actually at Kelly Greens for one year, but I've been retired for 12, so to speak, and, uh -huh. and been in the golf industry since I came here to Florida 12 years ago. Okay. So pretty much in this same role, uh, outside operations, pretty much supervisor everywhere I've, I've been. So, yeah, it's fun. I yeah. enjoy it. I, enjoy I, I it. can tell you do. You're, you're smiling <laughs> yeah, all the time. Yeah, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy the interaction with the members, and I understand what what the industry is about. So, anyway, it's just fun. Well, today yeah. I want to learn about the picker, and uh, we're going to give you a little tour of the picker, and I'm going to take a ride in the picker. What's the typical schedule, the routine for picking up balls, and how many total balls do we have about? Uh, I would say, I think Julie had about 6,000 uh, ordered for the, for the replenish supply this year. I'm pretty sure that was the number that she had. Each individual, individual like blue basket that are low, actually that we load up uh, hold 280 to 300 balls depending. So, and then we just have enough to recycle and try to, we do two, we do two picks a day uh, during the slow times just to keep everything supplied. Mm -hmm. So we also do one clean pick on Tuesdays for maintenance, which means every ball out here uh, is gone uh, so that maintenance could do their part as far as mowing and weeding and feeding and whatever whatever Matt does out here so so Tom it looks like we've got a converted golf cart basically is, is it pretty yeah that's pretty much it it's protected with the cages so when we're out there picking uh, we're safe uh, from anyone getting hit with balls or anything like that so yeah it's like a little modified regular golf cart with just a protection needed for out here uh, this guy picks up all the balls throws them in the baskets it rolls them in here once they get filled up we just dump them in an emptier basket and then the process is we wash them and clean them and then just this recycle going over and over again the same process Hey Tom, I'm having a little trouble finding my uh, seatbelt here. Where the heck is it? <laughs> no seatbelt required. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're on your own out here. Yeah. Where, where's the air conditioning switch here? <laughs> That's not available here. No air conditioning. <laughs> All right, so you're going along and we can see it's just picking them up and pretty much yeah. tossing them in the basket. That's kind of it. Like I said, on Tuesdays we uh, the range closes on at 3 o'clock and then we try to get this all finished by 4. So it generally works out where it's one clean pick of the whole range is like a 40 minute process. Now on a busy day, if you had to do this while there's a lot of people on the tee box, there's none right now, do they ever try to make you a target? I would imagine some people may at times just to get a kick out of whatever. Maybe they're just trying to uh, see how their game is in general and see if they can hit the uh, hit the golf cart, hit the guy in the picker, but like I said, there's no no damage. It startles you a little bit if it hits the windshield or something, but it's kind of part of the process. You get used to it. And what do you do when they're all picked up? Well, then we just clean them and put them back in the starter shack so they're available for the starters in the morning. When these things are full, they start getting, you know, and actually one of these baskets is pretty, one of these is pretty much one of the baskets as well. So it works out pretty good as far as knowing how many. So right now I'd say we're about at 280. 
Yeah, just enough for a good ball wash. It's just enough to move forward with the other process. Well, here's the ongoing process once we get most of the balls from out on the driving range. Uh, this is the next step in the process. It's just a, this is called a, you know, it's just a product made by Easy Picker. And all we do is put these in here and it runs through a brush cycle and spits them out clean. Pretty much how this process works. I suppose every golf course has to pretty much have their own ball washer, huh? Yes, they do. This thing, unfortunately, sometimes maybe it won't wait a minute, but it uh, gets caught here. Go finger. There we go. Just a little process with the brushes, they're a little worn out. Anyway, this cleans all our 6,000 golf balls on a daily basis, so it's a pretty uh, vital piece of equipment. Looks like it washes it pretty darn fast. Yeah, it goes through a, a cycle. a double wide too that would make the whole thing a little easier but actually this is very you know it's effective for what we have here so it works out pretty well so that's it yeah when it's off can you open it up and show me the guts yeah this is pretty much it it goes through this little cycle and spins them out through oh, there yeah. and uh, yeah we change the water pretty much daily uh, yep yeah, it, it's it does what we need it to do. Uh, we're learning the life of a golf ball at Kelly Green. <laughs> okay, so this is the final destination here in the starter shack. Goes into storage and then these guys take it from there. Uh, oh. That's where we store The really big barrels. <laughs> that's where our 6,000 golf balls go. Wow. And then we're ready for golfers to come. Look at all those little baskets. All clean and ready to go. The baby baskets. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, you got a nice view in here.